Hello Daydreamers, welcome to Napoleon Total War with the Total Eras mod and actually this is the Victorian Eras mod, the same uh, developer that did the Total Eras for uh, Napoleon but this is the Victorian Era and this video I'm gonna start with a little tip for players like me, this is Dario by the way, hello hello uh, I haven't played in a while this, uh, this mod and uh, I had, uh, you know, I've been changing the battle AI in different videos. If you watch uh, the previous ones, uh, we started with the Faces V2, then uh, I don't remember what we used. Uh, the previous uh, battle, we had the Artillery Horse. Uh, this is the by 3 and then Artillery Horse because there were several options that uh, you were able to, to select. However, now I changed to the to the default. So if you go to ModDB and download the mod right now, uh, you get different files from when I downloaded back uh, a few months ago. So I was I decided I'm gonna go to the standard because it seems that Red Hornet, the main developer, has decided finally for the chapters one, two, and three that they are all available uh, on ModDB. We are playing here the chapter one, the Victoria, uh, sorry, the um, uh, Carlist Wars, the Carlist Wars 1833. So what I did is uh, move all the the files around, and if you are a player like me that uh, likes to do this, go to the data folder and change uh, the things. Uh, then you have to select them and put them in order with the uh, the mod manager, and then when I launch it. I went to my save file and crashed to desktop. So don't despair if that happens. I double check that uh, the order and all the files uh, should be uh, they were as, as they should. I thought they were, and still crashed to desktop. But if you go to um, to a campaign, in that case, if you are convinced that is right, just start a new a new campaign. So here we have the first Carlis War. So I'm gonna do that. We are playing as the as the Carlist. So just start a new a new campaign would mean that uh, uh, something is wrong, uh, the load order, etc. If the campaign starts, it means that uh, all the files are you here? All the files are are uh, loaded correctly in your mod manager, but for some reason your save file wouldn't wouldn't uh, load. So now that you are inside the campaign, what you do is just go and load the, uh, this is the end of episode four, load your save. And as you can see, now I'm able to get in. For a moment I panicked because I said, what? I thought I had everything correctly and it wouldn't, it wouldn't go until I remembered I had this before. Uh, I just started a, a new campaign it did work, which means that all the files are correctly. Then you load your save, and that's it. So anyway, the last uh, episode, uh, which was, was uh, quite a long time ago, uh, we battle. I don't remember if it was the battle here or if it was the battle there. In here, we have sí, uh, who, is, who is our general, Edward Mortier. It uh, sounds very French. Uh, we had him here covering the Pyrenees because the the Spanish liberals were coming this way and they avoided Zaragoza and they were going behind. So we set an ambush. We had a uh, we have an emblem in there. Um, we had the Battle of Zaragoza in July. We are in August now. We beat them. They retreated. We beat them again. Well, there was a, another army. I don't remember exactly. Anyway, we beat uh, uh, their armies, uh, the general is dead, and this is what they have remaining. My idea see? for this episode is that we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to keep forward, see if we can take them out. We did uh, defeat them before, so I guess uh, we're going to defeat them again. Let's see if we can get them out, but with the new battle AI. So now uh, the battle AI that I'm going to be using is the same as if you first download the the mod from ModDB right now uh, this uh, this version of the the files where it does actually uh, for example is fixed sí, a, an issue that we had the the ships when we went into into a naval battle you see that the flags were french for example so i haven't tried it yet the naval battles 
uh, I just install the, the files but uh, next time we have a naval battle I expect that you will see the, the Spanish Carlist flag so this uh, this one in there um, and then I don't know if I should push forward because sí, um, the intention is to uh, sit our ruler Charles eh, Carlos María Isidoro de Borbón toma ya eh? Carlos María Isidoro de Borbón so if we can get to Madrid and get him seat on the throne then I would uh, give the, the, the campaign as, as finished unless some of you uh, let me know in the comments that ah, continue and you have to capture them all we want to see it and all that then I would continue otherwise if we get to Madrid the, from there you know it's, uh, Madrid and Barcelona because Barcelona they could they could come uh, and bite us so right now I would like to defeat this army to clear the path and see if eventually we can get Barcelona we can get Barcelona I believe even though they are in Valencia they will come around but I don't believe they will do it the AI were playing very hard very hard difficulty but uh, I don't know they are not doing much uh, they lost uh, these regions they are rebels so the rebels won't attack us they just stay there if the liberals are not trying to recapture it's because I don't know they, they are passive or they think they, don't, they, they can't or I don't know but anyway so let's do this to begin with with a new battle AI see how how it works and then we go from there we, otherwise we we're gonna have to pass turn you know I'm very very restricted in uh, I can't recruit so you see I have 26,000 here I can recruit vessels quite a few we are recruiting actually you can see there uh, I don't have any other port I believe no I don't have any other ports no so those two ports we are we are recruiting or building some vessels now the only uh, region that I can actually recruit infantry and uh, cavalry is from Vitoria and this three is, is slots so that's it it's three slots per well, not per turn because whatever turns it, it takes right but three uh, regiments at a time that's what I wanted to say and in Pamplona we can recruit two uh, artillery regiments or batteries at a time and that's it that's it uh, we did capture uh, Zaragoza and in Zaragoza I was able to recruit one unit uh, this one regiment Joseph Napoleon Tiradores Vascos we already had, so I couldn't. This one is one, so I did recruit the one. Soy su humilde servidor. That's uh, Fusileros. And... Listos y a la espera he de be around here. And that's it. One unit. And yeah, so it goes very, very, very slow. This is to... Uh, Red uh, told me that is to make it as, you know, in real life, actually, in the car list. Uh, they did send, uh, like, 3,000 men around... Uh, this area Barcelona they were supporting um, the car list uh, Barcelona city not outside I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the campaign the main cities um, they were supporters of um, actually they were supporters of the liberals so Bilbao for example Bilbao uh, the city they had the commerce, etc., and they were growing a lot, and they were supporting the the liberal government. However, the the peasants, you could say, everybody else around the the uh, the, um, the region were supporting the feudal system, the monarchy, uh, because they already had the fueros. They had a, a lot of. Uh, they didn't live very bad. Right? They lived pretty well, so they didn't want it to change. And actually, when the Carlist went uh, down to down the coast here, they were trying to recruit um, people for their armies. In the end, I think they got captured, uh, or, that, or they had to go back empty-handed. They didn't get any support, and that's why everything failed in the end. But um, yeah, so to make it uh, similar, uh, Red makes it like this. So you c we cannot recruit everywhere we go, like Burgos, for example. We can't recruit anything. Yes, only militia. We have the five regiments. That's the cap, 
and that's it. So we can capture more regions, but we cannot recruit anything unless it is from Vitoria. So anyway, uh, let's go with this. I think uh, a la orden. we are going to try to get... Re can I reach? I think I can. Señor. We're going to push with this and see if we can get rid of this army. Replenish. And actually, that's something that I was looking uh, before. I'm studying this uh, technology, the Great Paris Cipher. Plus one to command for attacking generals. I think I'm going to change and I'm going to go to... Is it this? No. To this one. Citizen recruitment incentives. Plus 7% to replenishment rates in all your regions. Because... I'm going to change it to that. It's going to be more interesting as I have done it a long ago. I didn't realize. Since we cannot recruit uh, as many units, we need to replenish as fast as possible so we can keep pushing forward. So I'm going to do that. But anyway, let's go with um, Eduard Mortier. Here, this army is commanded by Tito Zumalacarregui. Tomás de Zumalacarregui. He's replenishing. So let's, let's go with this. Okay, so it gave us a big... Uh, uh, maybe you could even auto-resolve, but we are going to lose a ton of... Uh, uh, maybe we lose some units, and then it just takes forever to recruit them. So uh, we're going to fight it. And I want to see the, the battle AI, uh, how it works, compared to, to, the, to the ones we did. If you want to see the difference, you can check the, the previous episodes. And I always say which episode... which. Uh, Battle AI I'm using on each of the episodes. The last one was the by three artillery horse. That's what I was using. But anyway, so let's go with this. They have uh, some cavalry, lancers, dragoons. This one has a, a, a card that's different. Six pounders, uh, horse artillery. The, maybe they have one cannon left in there. Only five, uh, five men. Uh, with, with the um, yeah, probably just one cannon. This one is a four pounders range 655. How is ours? 700. We arrange them, which is nice. The obus doesn't arrange, so 900 for this. Uh, granaderos, grenadiers, skirmishers, skirmishers. All right, anyway, I meet you guys on the battle map and let's see how we can do. Welcome to the battlefield, my friends. We have a, a little difficult terrain in here. But I've been looking around for quite a while uh, to see how they uh, we're going to deploy. I can see one of their cannons. This is a good symptom. Uh, they are deployed already. So, you know, sometimes the, the artillery gets bugged and the, they don't deploy, they don't shoot, or they point in a different way, etc. They are set and facing us and ready to shoot so that's a good a, a good uh, a good uh, sign now they have another one another regiment there's only five men i guess it's gonna be hidden in there i don't know how many cannons they have 21 crew 21 crew here five uh, cannons so at least one or two cannons they're gonna have for the other one anyway so i have my cannons in here on our right flank and I'm gonna move this, uh, all these guys. I want to place them on this, uh, on the top of this uh, hill to start shooting. And I'm just gonna leave the guardia, the guards, Don Carlos uh, guards, on this flank since they don't have anything here, and the cavalry to protect the the right flank. And everything else is gonna be around here. Now I'm gonna send this. Um, the Chapel Gorris. Chapel Gorri means the, the red berets. Uh, Gorri is red in Euskera. The Basque country's uh, language. Um, Chapel Gorris. So I'm gonna set them inside this building because sometimes what it does is that the uh, the artillery focus on, on the building when you have a regiment inside. I wanna see if that's the case with this battle AI or, or not. And um, they won't shoot us. I don't think they reach us anyway. Uh, they won't shoot uh, our cannons while they are moving and all that. But anyway, so let me uh, start the battle 
I'm gonna select uh, like this. As you can see, this is my own choosing. I don't uh, select the uh, the markers and all that because I got used playing Napoleonic uh, Total War 3 and I think it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, however, it makes it a little difficult to to, uh, to follow them and s know which one you are selecting and all that. But uh, I like it so you don't have the you know the lines in here with the range and all that. But anyway, let's start and let's move these guys up the hill. It's gonna be better if we do it one by one actually. So they are not so much together. Alright. Guardia Revolucionaria! Go there. That's it. Now I have here the obuses. Obuses, they don't need uh, a direct uh, line of sight. So Guardia Revolucionaria! And you guys can stay here actually. Okay. Guardias! You get inside. Guardia Revolucionaria! And this We've cannon, taken the buildings up! Huh? I'm gonna set them in here, even though they don't have very good. Oh, I think their cavalry is charging. Infantería de élite! I heard. Ah, I don't know if the their cannons are coming. Ah, their cannons, the the cavalry. No, here is the general. So they are not moving. They are not shooting because I guess, yeah, they don't reach us. Raccoons. So I guess they are gonna stay put. Oh, they are shooting us already. Okay. Now are they shooting the uh, the building? Yeah. See. So we need to be careful with that. Sí, señor. Did we lose? Uh... We did lose. Esquiadores listos. Ahora mismo. Ahora We're gonna come mismo. out before they destroy everything. Sixty percent. Well, that didn't work very well. Quickly. Well, we lost. Yeah, we lost them all. Our men are running, sir. Well, that was a bad uh, thing. But uh, as you can see, the the AI is uh, much like uh, the vanilla in that, that case. When you put a, a regiment inside, well, we lost that regiment. That's a pity. That's pretty nice. Let's see where they shoot now, because if they could reach over there, yeah, they're going to be reaching us. Once we deploy, our batteries. Señor. Caballería. We should be. Guardia Revolucionaria. We should have a, a big advantage in there. The only thing is that let's see how many we lose. Before we can set up. Okay, you are ready. Medianos, soldados, preparen los cañones. You are set. Soldados, preparen los cañones. You are set. Cañón listo, señor. Soldados, preparen los cañones. And we should have a pretty good line of sight from here. One is ready. Stop there and deploy. They are shooting this. this Fusileros Navarros. Okay, I think they are moving forward. Yeah, they are moving. 
traseros. But they're really focusing it on that. Okay, you're shooting the cavalry. Uh, you can reach, so I want you to focus on their artillery. Actually, everybody is going to focus on their artillery. Can you reach them? Yes. Well, that one is gone. The lanceros are gone. So our obus, they have a very short uh, range. Guardia revolucionaria. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Guarden la orden. And you can set it like that. And you want to stop and shoot their cannons as well. And we didn't take any of their cannons yet. A la orden! Fire, lads! See if we can see the... The cannonball. Oh, are they gone already? No, someone is gone. They are gone. No, where are you shooting them? You're not shooting the cannons. You're shooting the general, or who is this? The dragoons. That's a good shot, though. Kapoom! Well, kapoom, but it's not what I want. Okay, stop that and shoot their cannons yes okay one cannon is broken already there they come so you guys guardia revolucionaria Infantería de élite. You're gonna be behind. No set to shoot right now. I have to remember that they are not set to shoot. You guys don't shoot either. I'm not probably. I'm gonna set you on. Guardia revolucionaria. How about their cannons? We are missing a lot. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna set this... Uh, I'm gonna leave the... Uh, the one with the highest uh, range. Cañón mediano. Shoot the cavalry. You. Shoot there. The obuses are going to start shooting whatever they Our want. Our men are running, sir. Who? Oh, shoot. I didn't notice. We're still shooting for now. Bloody hell. Okay, you. Okay, you. Quickly, and start shooting. I hope these two are enough. Are you still shooting? Or are you fighting. Yeah, they are shooting. Okay, change to... country. 
glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Fire! How are we doing here? Kill them! Yeah, they're gone. I don't think they're gonna come back. There's my general. Right here. Estado Mayor. Go forward to support. Their cannons is are gone. Here stop. Who are these? Horse artillery. So that. And here we are gonna press forward. With the cavalry. I'm gonna leave the cannons alone. You are still shooting, right? Yes. Shoot their general. You are set to shoot, but you don't have a line of sight. Zero cannons, they don't have cannons, so forget it. Shoot over there. You they are leaving. Move there. And the cavalry, you're gonna start. See if you can get the, the general. Or go get these guys. You Shoot there, and you. I hope you don't shoot your own. I'm gonna move you forward. Get out of the way. Our men are running, sir. Oh, over there. Ligera. Okay, come back. Or stay here because they're gonna they're gonna leave soon. You can keep pushing those or make sure they don't come back. See the obus? Where is the obus? You shoot over there. Run! This is not a Sunday Sunday stroll. The obus. Yeah, we are doing well. We are shooting where we have to shoot. That's fine. Uh, this artillery, I think I'm gonna tell them to stop for now. Because it's already done, I think. And this, can you reach over there? Yes. So you're gonna shoot. These are the most dangerous, I believe. See anything with all that smoke? So I hope you have a good line of sight. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are gone. Okay, so you. Oh no, they... those are others. Yeah, you keep shooting these guys. Move forward, maybe. The obus. Guys, I'm gonna stop shooting. 
Ju. Coquete. 21. Eso es un touch cavalry. Can get this 21. My general. I might uh, do something silly. This guy's came back. General. Go there. Continue. You guys came back. So the obus stop as well. Where is the obus? Thank you. Now I can hear you. Stop. My general is gonna go. You can stop in there. I don't want you to shoot. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Yeah, he's getting shot by my own men. Stop shooting, and you maybe stop shooting as well. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave you, and we check at the uh, grenadiers 55, 60. I'll leave you here with the. Uh, The beards with our sabers to the jugular. I'm <laughs> gonna try to kill as many as possible, but they're gonna still hanging around, I believe. And I meet you guys on the campaign map, and we see the results of this uh, this battle. We finish the, the episode. So the video doesn't get too long. We'll catch up with you in a moment. Here are the results of our victory. The game set is a close victory, but I think they we really kicked the, their pots. Even though in numbers we are pretty even, actually. I don't think that we had a ton of uh, more men than they did. The 73 men remaining, I think uh, we took them all out. They deployed 712. We killed 605. They lost 639. So that's a. Uh, they had some their own um, uh, they killed their own men it seems for us we lost 480 oh my goodness they killed 353 and we lost 483 i don't know if because of the cannons uh, m maybe I, I killed some with my own cannons it could be <laughs> i c i can't uh, say for sure we got a ton of chevrons caballeria de vizcaya they kill 117 this is the heavy cavalry as well. The general kills 67. And then we have cannons here. The six pounders, 62 kills. Fusileros Navarros. I believe these are the ones that run away. Uh, 43 for the artillery of Don Carlos. The, these guys did pretty bad, actually. They lost 64, kill only 42. The guardia... Oh, del Infante. All right. Chapel Gorris. I, uh, they... No, there's a, there must be another Chapel Gorris. Where are they? Did I lose them? Zero kills. Yes, this is the one that uh, uh, I placed inside the building. Are they going to be here? I think they are gone. Oh, no, they're, they're still around. They're still kicking. 33 men. Okay, so let's see. Oh, nice. Nice. We took them all out. That's uh, that's perfect. Now we are gonna be a hundred years replenishing, but uh, I'm sending some more. This is cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry. Señor, a la orden. That uh, I believe uh, I'm gonna send them to here. How are you doing? Sí. On cavalry, they have yeah, you have much more. So you Preparados. are going to be following this uh, this army. Now this army is going to be coming. Where does it change? Catalonia, Zaragoza. So this is the limit. All the way to here we can keep moving and we're going to be replenishing. And I'm going to wait at the edge of our region to keep replenishing and sending reinforcements until we get a full stack. Which is only one more after... So maybe we can send Preparados. this and that's it. 
and then uh, try to push forward see if we are able to to put pressure here and capture Catalonia Barcelona that's the idea and then from there we'll see uh, next episode we might um, I, I can't reach right now because of the cannons but uh, I could send some uh, some of a few units ahead and see if we can uh, fight these two and maybe this f how many are here and these five into a battle to try to destroy as many as possible and then we tail back to to, re to replenish Señor. Uh, before we move forward because in Madrid they have nothing there's only one regiment they're recruiting but uh, look at that only one uh, cavalry they have a few uh, units here as well that we can Señoría, uh, we can actually check la noche es mi aliada ¿Qué os place? ¿Qué os place? So, I can see. I wish this was like in Sogun that you could actually rotate the, 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 on the map. So this is three units. One, one and one. Yeah. So, pff, they are in pretty bad shape. I mean, if we can take this, uh, these armies, these units, uh, that add together, I think they, they add to one stack. One full stack. We can press forward and go to Madrid. Now, the naval battles, though, here, I was able to take uh, the Portuguese out. And uh, ¿A dónde, Capitán? we are here doing some commerce. However, if I move... Now, right now, I don't have movement points. I, I can't move. Here, the, the Spanish liberals, they have a fleet that they destroyed. I don't know. I think I was moving a sloop or something just to, to see what was going on. They could attack us. I don't think they're gonna do it with that. They could try to push here and attack the my vulnerable units. But I don't think they're gonna do it either. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Now, I can't really attack where they are. Uh, because the British... You see, they don't reach uh, this fleet. But uh, if I go there, they would, they would reach me. And I, they have a ton. They have a ton of uh, vessels. Look at that. And recruiting more, I think. Well, just one. Uh, they have a ton more in there. And recruiting. So I'm doing a ton of recruitment of 74 gun ship of the line. And uh, 122 ship of the line. I don't know how it's called. Uh, class Oce Ocean. 122 and 74. Right? So that's going to take a while before we can actually go and push the, the British in here. I don't know if we are even going to see it. If I reach Madrid before that, that's going to be it. But anyway, I'm talking a lot. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I like the this battle AI that uh, Red Hornet chose finally for the uh, for the, the mod. I think it worked pretty well. The artillery was shooting. The cavalry didn't uh, suicide that they usually do. And the general, they always... You know, in vanilla normally they suicide against your your line. Uh, well, actually, one attacked us, but I didn't see it, so I did, I couldn't use a, a square formation or anything. They did attack me, uh, but they didn't go all suicidal to to the cannons and stuff. I don't know. I think they worked pretty well. But, I don't know. but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, remember, you can join the channel. There's a the join button in there. If you do. Uh, you will get uh, early access to videos a ton of total war I have in the channel right now and I will give you some named units that actually I should have named some y a la espera de um, because I already have some channel members and I forgot EC for example I have to give some uh, some um, unit I don't know what unit you would like EC if you watch by any chance and also to Anderson but anyway Thank you very much. Please take care, be safe, and I hope to see you soon with the next one. Bye-bye for now.